solve for x. 11x minus 5 times 2x minus 1 is equal to 3 times 6 minus x plus 3. Since we're asked to solve for x, our goal here is to isolate x all by itself on one side of the equation. A good first step here is to multiply out the brackets on both sides. Let's start with the one on the left. Minus 5 times 2x is minus 10x and minus 5 times minus 1 is plus 5. Now for the brackets on the right. 3 times 6 is 18 and 3 times minus x is minus 3x. From here, we can do some simplification by combining x terms and combining number terms. 11x minus 10x is 1x and 18 plus 3 is 21. Remember, our goal here is to isolate x all by itself on one side of the equation. If x only appeared once in the equation, then we could simply remove everything else from its side until we were left with the x. However, there's a bit of an issue here. x appears twice in our equation. We have a 1x on the left hand side and a minus 3x on the right hand side. To deal with this, we can use the following strategy. Group all the x terms on one side of the equation and everything else on the other side. Here, I'm going to group my x terms on the left and everything else on the right. To start, I'll need to remove the minus 3x from the right hand side. The key here is the following. To remove something from one side of the equation, perform the inverse operation to both sides. The inverse of subtraction is addition. So to remove a minus 3x, I need to add 3x to both sides. I've now got my two x terms on the left, but I'll want to remove this plus 5. The inverse of addition is subtraction, so to remove a plus 5, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. From here, we can simplify a bit. 1x plus 3x is 4x. And 21 minus 5 is 16. We're now quite close to isolating x. The last thing to remove is the 4 in front of it. This 4 represents multiplication. The inverse of multiplication is division, so what we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 4. So we found our final answer. 
x is equal to 4. Solve the simultaneous equations. y plus 5 is equal to 2x and x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. To begin, I'm going to give these equations labels. Equation 1 and equation 2. When it comes to simultaneous equations, there's two main methods we can use. The first option is the elimination method. Here, we multiply across the equations to create coefficients with matching numbers but different signs. Then we add the equations. The second option is the substitution method. This involves using one equation to write one variable in terms of the other, then subbing this in to the other equation. Typically, the elimination method is a bit easier to use. However, it doesn't work in all circumstances. In particular, it doesn't work when squares are involved in our equations. So it can't deal with the x squared and the y squared in equation 2. So here, the only option is to use the substitution method. The substitution method involves a number of steps. Step i will be to use equation 1 to find y in terms of x. Step ii will be to sub in this value of y into equation 2 to find x. And step iii is to sub these values of x back in to find the corresponding y values. So let's start with step i. Equation 1 states that y plus 5 is equal to 2x. We want to find y in terms of x. In other words, to isolate y all by itself on one side of the equation. To do this, all we have to do is remove the plus 5. The inverse of addition is subtraction, so to remove a plus 5, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. Now for step ii. We'll sub in this value of y we just found into equation 2 and then solve for x. Equation 2 states that x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. We found that y is equal to 2x minus 5. So in equation 2, I'm going to replace the y with a 2x minus 5. From here, Let's focus on expanding out this 2x minus 5 all squared. Squaring a number is the same thing as multiplying that number by itself. So 2x minus 5 squared is the same as 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5. Multiplying out the brackets 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times minus 5 is minus 10x. Minus 5 times 2x is minus 10x. And minus 5 times minus 5 is plus 25.
here, we can do some simplification by combining the x terms. Minus 10x minus 10x is equal to minus 20x. Looking back at our equation, we see that we have two x squared terms on the left. These can be combined. x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared. The resulting equation involves an x squared term. We refer to this as a quadratic equation. When it comes to quadratic equations, it's a good idea to group everything on the left-hand side and leave a zero on the right-hand side. So I'm going to remove this plus 25 from the right. The inverse of addition is subtraction, so to remove it, I'll need to subtract 25 from both sides. We are now left with the equation 5x squared minus 20x is equal to 0. One approach here would be to use the quadratic formula. However, if we're clever, there's a much quicker approach. We can spot that there's a common factor of 5x on the left hand side. When we factor out a 5x from 5x squared, we're left with x. And when we factor out 5x from minus 20x, we're left with minus 4. We now have an equation where two terms are multiplying together to give 0. And the only way two things can multiply together to give zero is if one of them is zero. So there's two cases, either 5x is equal to zero or x minus four is equal to zero. We can solve for x in both of these situations. So we found two answers for x. x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 4. The final step here is to sub these values of x back in to find the corresponding y values. We found earlier that y is equal to 2x minus 5. This equation can be used to find the y values when x equals 0 and x equals 4. Our final answer consists of two solutions. x equals 0, y equals minus 5, and x equals 4, 
y is equal to 3. 